Hello, I am Maisha Rasim Naomi. I graduated from Mount Holyoke College in May 2024, uh, majoring in neuroscience and behavior and on the pre-health track. Um, and currently I'm working as a research technician at a neuroscience lab at MIT. And today I'm here to answer your most asked questions when choosing curriculum for your high school board examinations. So, we are going to focus on two boards today, uh, Pearson Edexel or Edexel um, and Cambridge Assessment International Education or CAIE or Cambridge. Um, so under CAIE, there are three kinds of examination, O-levels and IGCAC, which are equivalent and A-levels. Um, you can take either O-levels or IGCAC, but um, O-levels is more um, widely taken. Um, for uh, session wise, for Edexcel, uh, there are sessions in uh, January, June and October. And for Cambridge, there are sessions in uh, March, May and October, except for CAIE O-levels, uh, which has only sessions in May and October. How do these syllabuses differ? Edexcel is more modular, um, so it is divided into smaller units. So it is easier to focus on uh, topic uh, on specific topics at a time. Um, on the other hand, Cambridge is more linear, uh, meaning it you have to study for the whole exam and get tested um, all at once at the end. Um, so, generally, Edexcel offers more flexibility um, in terms of exam structure. Um, you don't have to take A2 right after AS. Um, and then you can also take retake specific units um, if um, instead of taking redoing the whole course. But for Cambridge, you have to take the whole set of exams if you want to improve your grade. So for example, um, in chemistry, um, Edexcel has six units, um, three units for AS and three units for A2. Um, let's say if you mess up unit five, then you can take only unit five during any of the sessions. But for Cambridge, there are five papers in uh, chemistry, papers one, two, three for AS and four, five for A2. Um, if you mess up paper 3 in this case, uh, then you have to take whole AS again, meaning you have to take papers 1, 2, 3 again in order to improve your grade for AS. Um, in terms of grading, um, Edexcel is more transparent um, because you can um, see your raw marks and how um, your UMS or Uniform Mark Scale scores are calculated. Cambridge, on the other hand, doesn't share um, UMS or um, from the raw marks, so the students are kind of left in the dark. Um, in CAI, you get in CAI or Cambridge, you get a overall percentage of all your um, papers. Um, hmm, it depends. Um, Cambridge O levels uh, is generally thought to be harder uh, because they cover topics in more detail um, and the STEM subjects also have a lab component which may seem harder for some students to tackle. Um, however, this just means that the transition from O levels to A levels is just slightly more pressurizing for Edexcel students, uh, but it is a it is a big jump nonetheless, whether you're in Edexcel or Cambridge. Uh, many people shift from one board to another thinking one is easier than the other, but honestly sticking to the same exam board uh, is considered easier because you are already habituated to the exam style. Um, then again, I myself shifted from Edexcel to Cambridge after my O levels and um, so it's not unusual to shift from one to another uh, but as someone who has shifted I can tell you that you should do your own research um, on the exam styles and the syllabus uh, for your own understanding 
uh, before you decide to make this change. Uh, personally, I used to uh, randomly solve question papers uh, from Cambridge even when I was doing my O-levels in edXL um, just because I thought it helped me strengthen my basic concepts. Um, so the shift wasn't super hard on me. Um, but honestly, I shifted from edXL to Cambridge because I thought the lab components seemed more structured in Cambridge. Um, and then there was uh, there's also a paper uh, that is MCQ based in Cambridge and I was preparing for SATs and Olympiads during that time uh, which are similarly structured and I also felt that the mark scheme of Cambridge um, um, answers are more structured and more organized so I, I felt like I was learning the concept uh, concepts as I was solving the past papers. Both boards are uh, widely accepted. I mean, they're identical in value. So it doesn't really matter too much um, as long as you have your required grades. Generally, A-levels is generally harder than O-levels. So it doesn't matter which board you are under, you have to work for it. Um, so I would say just do your research and see which learning, sa learning style fits you more. Um, yeah, just, you know, put your phones down and study.